Welcome. Thank you for choosing to listen to another faith-building message by Pastor David Entry. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the Word of God. May your knowledge of Jesus Christ increase as you listen. Be blessed. Matthew chapter 8, verse 8. This man brings his son to Jesus. Oh, this man comes to Jesus, sorry, and tells Jesus that, say, my son is not well. My son, um, saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of uh, uh, grief. He said, at home, sick of palsy and grievously tormented. He has been grievously tormented. Jesus said, I'm going to come. I want to come and heal him. Then the man said, no, no, you don't have to come to my house. I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof. But only speak, speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Wow. And then the next verse, Jesus, and he begins to explain his reason for saying what he said, that Jesus should speak the word only and his servant shall be made whole. What was his reason? Because he's a man under authority and he, he understands authority. You don't have, you to, don't be have to be present, present for, for, your, um, for you to be in charge. Once you speak, it will happen. So he said, I know, I understand the way authority works. There's power enough in your word. So when it comes to the realm of the spirit, it is a transaction of words. He said, speak the word and my servant shall be made whole. Because there is authority in words. And tonight we have gathered here to release mm -hmm. our faith based on God's word and also to hear a proclamation, declaration, and preaching of God's word. The, oh, thank you, Jesus. Every time, listen to this before we move on to anything further. I want you to understand that every time the word of God is being preached, every time the word of God is being preached in its truth and in its content, in, in context, uh, sorry, context, uh, yeah, the, the context, in its context, by an anointed person, what happens is that even the exposure, the fact that you are hearing the word of God being preached, it means that something is happening to you. Some of the things may not be readily and quickly perceptible, but some once you expose yourself to God's word, something is happening to you. Chief above all that happens to you when you hear God's word is faith. Because once you hear from God, faith, because faith does not rest, is not resident in anybody. Faith is not self-generated. Faith is word generated. Faith is not self. You can't generate faith in yourself that, okay, okay, I'm going to. No, 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 no. A word must come from God to you first. And the word is a container. It's a, a conveyor of what makes us believe and what gives us the faith. So once the word comes, faith is ready to be. When you hear from God, faith starts in your heart. That's why Abraham had to hear from God before he could move from his house. Noah had to hear from God before he could obey and start building. Joshua had to hear from God before he could lead them to the promised land. All these people, they had to hear from God before they could do something because you can't walk by faith in the absence of a word from God. And anytime words, the word of God comes, faith is being born. Secondly, every time preaching, preaching is preached, uh, is, is declared or is made. So as I preach, demons begin to give way. Jesus went to the synagogue and Bible says, whilst he was preaching in Luke chapter 4, verse 32 downwards, Bible says, as he began to preach, that a demon possessed man started screaming, what have we got to do with you? He was just preaching. He was just preaching. That is why some people get so irritated by preaching. Most of that is a demonic reaction. Most of the time is demonic reaction. Sometimes even the fact that you are preaching the pure word of God, having not said anything inflammatory, they just, they just hate you because it's a demonic reaction from inside of people. So as Jesus was preaching, demons began to speak out, saying, let us alone. What have we got to do with you, Jesus? What are them? Leave us. No, he was just preaching. Preaching 
exposes devils and makes devils live. As I preach, any devil that has been assigned to your life, I see the backside of the devil leaving you alone. Amen. Every demonic force assigned to your life, assigned against your health, assigned against your marriage, assigned against your peace, every demonic entity, witchcraft, manipulative powers that has been directed, targeted towards you. In the presence of this preaching, I see them leave you alone. Amen. I see them leave you alone. Amen. I see them leave you alone. Amen. Amen. Preaching cast out devils. Just preaching, pure word of God. Preaching brings faith. Preaching of the word of God casts out devils. Preaching makes God, God gives God the ability to manifest his promise and his intentions. In Titus, in the book of Titus, he said, I think chapter 1 also, verse 1, 2, somewhere there. It talks about how this, the promise from verse 1, Titus chapter 1, from verse 1. It talks about how um, a servant of God, apostle, according to the faith of God's elect. You see, I'm a servant according to your faith. The people who God has chosen, according to their faith. And the acknowledgement of the truth, which is after godliness. Give me New King James, please. The acknowledgement of the truth, which accords with godliness. There are some truths but they are not in accordance to godliness. They, does, they don't mm -hmm. accord with godliness. What we mm -hmm. preach is supposed to accord. It's called healthy ways, wholesome ways. It's supposed to accord with godliness. So according to, according to, um, according to the faith of God's elect, all right, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledgement, uh, we have to teach for people to acknowledge be able to know the truth that accords with godliness. That is why a church that is not, that doesn't make preaching of God's word central, that church can never represent God properly. Hmm. That church, God can never work in a church that does not focus and center on the teaching and the preaching of God's word. Wow. So it says that um, because when the word of God is preached and taught, people's faith come alive and people get to know the truth that they begin to acknowledge and say, oh, now I understand. This is the truth. That accords is in line with godliness. Look at the verse 2. Verse 2 says that in hope of eternal life, which God who cannot lie promised before that uh, before time began. There are things that God has promised before even time began, let alone before my grandmother was born. There are things that God has promised long time before uh, the world began. And he says that, uh, but go to the next verse. Before the world began, but has in due time manifested his word. How? Through preaching. So the preaching of God's word creates the platform for God to manifest what he has promised long time ago. So if we don't preach the manifestation of God's uh, promise, God's plans will be compromised. Wow. Preaching. Preach is said, but manifested in due time. In due time has been manifested um, uh, God has manifested through preaching which was committed to me according to the commandment of God as Savior. It was committed said, divinity, preach liberty to those who are listening tonight. Preach liberty. Preach freedom. I have liberty for somebody. I have freedom for somebody. But you have to go preach it. As we preach, you are set free. As we preach, you are being liberated. As we preach, you are seeing the power. As we preach, the power of God is being manifested. That is why Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation hmm. if we don't preach how can we see the gospel does it make sense when Paul said uh, uh, he said how beautiful in Romans chapter 10 hmm. verse 15 and 16 how beautiful are the, uh, the feet of those who preach hmm. how, how, how shall they preach how beautiful are the feet of those who preach that did you see that those who preach the gospel, those who preach the, don't, don't, don't disrespect and, and marginalize and disdain a preacher. Hmm. A preacher. Because when you read verse 14, he said, how can they believe of whom they have not heard? How can they hear of whom they have not, uh, how shall they hear without a preacher? So the preacher is sent for somebody to be saved. Mm -hmm. 
There can't be proper true salvation and growth in God and the manifestation of God's power without preaching. So Jesus told them, go into the world and preach. Come back the shatire. Preach. Preach. Mark chapter 16, verse 20. They went everywhere preaching. Preaching. No political campaign. They went everywhere and preached. They were preached everywhere. Preach. And when they preach, God said, ha, 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 I'm going to now. I can. They have created room for me to begin to show my power. They have created room for me to be able to show. Without preaching. Hmm. And Philip went down to Samaria and preached. Acts chapter 8, verse 5. And Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached. And preached. Kadaba, I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost in this place. He went and preached. Preached Christ to them. And look at what happened. Look at what happened. Once we pray, and multitude with one, and the multitudes with one accord, he did the things spoken by Philip, hearing and seeing, uh, uh, hearing seeing the miracle which he did. How did he do? Whilst he was preaching, God was also behind the scenes working the miracles. Wow! Wow! And look at what happened. Look, look at the next verse. Yesterday we read this. Those who read your Bible, mm. unclean spirits were crying out. How preaching? Unclean spirits were uh, uh, crying out with loud voice. You say, I shouldn't shout. Demons shout when they are living. They have scream them out of the, the, <laughs> their location. Cr- screaming with loud voice. Came out of many who were posi- See, the demons, where were they? Inside human beings. It's not everybody in suits. That is free. <laughs> not everybody with wig. That is free. There are people with wig. The way you are chasing her, she's a container of devils. Kabada Shataya. The way you are, you, are, you are befriending someone who is demon possessed. And if you don't stay strong in the law, oh, demons are very soon going to transfer, be making their transfer towards you. Demons inhabit human beings as well. That's why we have to preach. As we are preaching, I'm telling you, and as I'm preaching, demons are leaving people right now. Amen. Demons are leaving your house right now. Amen. Demons are leaving your territory right now. As the word, as the word is sounding. Sometimes, if you live by yourself and you are free enough, you live by yourself and it will, it will create tension and confusion in your house. Sometimes you have to play preaching loud in the whole house. Let it be plain. Clear devils out of that place. Clear devils. Sanitize your house. We have hand sanitizers. Now we need house sanitizers. Preaching. 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 Preach. Amen. Yes. As we preach here, I know someone is receiving their healing right now. Through the preaching of God's word. Amen. Preaching. He went to Samaria. Preach. And I like the verse 8. Acts 8, 8. Nice to remember. Acts 8. Earlier we read Matthew 8, 8. Matthew 8, 8 said, only speak the word. My my servant shall be healed. Now Acts 8, 8 is also another nice one. Bible said there was great joy in the city. Why? Because a preacher has come. Not a celebrity. Not a singer. Not a movie star, not a footballer, a preacher, not a politician, a preacher. God doesn't save through politics. He doesn't save through any other human systems. He can use those things when he wants. But his chief agent of salvation, of bringing his power, of manifesting his power, is through preaching committed to those who are sent. Preaching committed to those who are sent. When if you have not been sent, you don't have a message. That is why if you are sent to, the one who sends you gives you the message. Politicians don't give you the message. It's the sender who gives you the message. Bible calls it the gospel of God. Romans chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. He said, call unto the gospel. of The gospel doesn't belong to David Entry. The gospel belongs to God. A bound servant. Oh my God. Separated to the gospel. Of, it belongs to God. It doesn't belong to Christ. It doesn't belong to any church. The gospel of God. Don't spread perfume on the, on the gospel. Leave the way it is. Don't change it. Don't embellish it. Leave it the way it is. It's not your gospel. You are just a messenger. Hmm. Why is it that a courier man coming to deliver your parcel has now begun to paint the box? Hmm. Because it feels the package is not nice. So he's now beginning to pay, decorate it like a Christmas gift. Is that his job? He's... <laughs> and this is what society can put pastors and uh, even Christians like you under pressure. To change the gospel to what how people want to hear it. Oh, I feel like preaching. Preach. Preaching, preaching builds faith. Preaching creates the room for God's power to be manifested. 
preaching cast out devils, preaching uh, uh, um, uh, 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 fulfillment of God's purpose. It, it helps to manifest God's purpose. And then also preaching helps people get established. In Romans chapter 16, I think verse 25 or so, yeah, 25, 24, it talks about God will establish you. God who is able to establish you. I like King James, please. Let's read it and then we'll go back to New King James. This one, the way King James sounds is now. Now to him who is of power. That's why I like the King James. What's the, it's not normal English. Who is of power to establish you? <laughs> I like the way. Of, I think it's not in nice English. To, unto him who is of power to establish you by my gospel. What does that mean? To establish you. According to my gospel. Ah, so some preachers have got gospel. Yeah, it is God's gospel that has become the gospel I preach. There's no other gospel I preach. So that's my gospel is the gospel of God. All right, now let's go to the New King James. He said, Now, New King James, please. Yeah, now to him who is able to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of, did you see preaching? Preaching, we preach the gospel, and once you listen to gospel, you get established. Some of you, the confusion in your house, there's not enough gospel in people's lives. Yeah. Yeah. Every time, uh, gang gang style, gang gang style, gang gang music, all kinds of music in your house, no preaching, no wonder there's always fighting, always tension, always confusion. Put some preaching on, bro. Put some preaching on, sis. Let them preaching play. Let them. And when it's live streaming, put it. In fact, if you are a house owner and your cousin is living with you or your brother or whatever, if you have, put it on your TV screen. Let the preaching sound in the house. That one, you, you, they are, I mean, they can't tell you to turn your TV on because if they, you could watch something, you can, that's what you are watching. Let it, let it play. Let it play. Let it play. It's my custom. Preaching must always be playing in my house. Preaching must always everywhere in my car. Preaching, preaching. If it's not preaching, then a Bible on tape is go. It's just play Bible on audio Bible. Audio Bible is just play. It must be the word of God must come from every angle, mm -hmm. every angle. When the, your house is saturated with preaching, God gets the chance to establish you in your goings. According to his plan, preaching will establish you the way you are struggling. Pastor, I'm struggling with this pornography. I'm struggling with this addiction. I don't know. I can't stop it. Listen to preaching and stop that. Uh, what's it called? Drill music. Hey, you are listening to drill music and you don't understand why you are struggling with pornography. I'm saying it again. I will say it. I will say it. I will say it. You are saturated your environment with. Is it drill music? Yes. Is it drill yes. music? Yes. You have saturated your environment with drill music and you don't understand why you are struggling with pornographic addiction, heroin addiction, cocaine addiction, smoking, alcohol and sex addiction. You don't understand. Check what is you are, you are filling your system with garbage, 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 garbage. It may sound nice. It may sound exciting. But as you are sad, you are wiggling your waist and enjoying it in your soul. Satan is coming from the back door. He is coming from the back door, injecting pollution into your system. Saturate your environment with preaching. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Preach the word. Paul told Timothy. Second Timothy said, preach the word. Be instant in season and out. Preach. Hmm. Preach. Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Pastor, stop telling the stories. Preach the word. We have heard enough about your own testimony and your own history. How this happened to you. How this happened to you. It's enough of that. Preach the word. Wow. I I used to be I used to be a thief. Now I stop. I used to. That doesn't change anybody. It doesn't change anybody. No human testimony changes anybody. Hmm. It's the word. The preached word. Is the word. Is the word. Is the word. Preach the word. Cast out devils. How do you do that? Preach the word. Why do you think the demon said in Acts chapter 19, verse 13, 14, that uh, Paul, Jesus, I know, Paul, I know, but who are you? Because those, those were preachers. <laughs> oh, yeah. It just said, Paul, I know. Paul is a preacher. 
Jesus, I know. Jesus was a preacher. That's all Jesus was doing. He was a carpenter to start his ministry. All Jesus was doing was preaching, preaching. Every time, everywhere he was going, he was preaching. He was preaching. He was preaching. He was always preaching. Demons have a healthy respect for preaching and preachers. So they hate preachers. So if they want to attack you, they will incite your heart to turn against preachers. When you turn against preacher, you have turned against your freedom. You have turned against the manifestation of God's glory, grace upon your life. God works through preaching. God manifests his grace through preaching. As I'm preaching, I know somebody has just been set free from an addiction. Mm -hmm. Somebody has been, a demon of an addiction has jumped out of somebody. Mm -hmm. A demon of masturbation has just jumped out of somebody. Kabara shataya, rakata kataya, brikata, demon of pornography. I see it running away from you because the preaching is coming. It's not empty words. Power of God! I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation. Unto salvation, God cannot save without the gospel preached. I see, I can see everything turning around for somebody. I can see everything turning around for somebody. All that tension in your marriage is changing, it's changing, it's changing because gospel is coming, it's coming. Gospel is coming, it's changing, it's changing. That confusion in your house is changing, it's changing. It's changing. Feel your car. Feel your house. Feel your room. Feel your airports. Yeah, we're preaching. We're preaching. We're preaching. We're preaching. I am a grandma I am a tell you, man. I can I'm gonna tell you. It's okay. You had enough. Get some preaching. Too much to some of us, if we don't hear enough preaching, there's no way you can be married and have a safe, uh, successful marriage. Yeah. Because the preaching will sanitize you. There are people on this platform who never believed in marriage and they wouldn't have even been able to have a successful marriage until they started hearing preaching. Mm. Started, some of you, you, could, you couldn't stop doing some stuff until you started hearing preaching. Mm. The preaching is changing you. Your family members are surprised. They are surprised the way you are changed. They say, you, all, your schoolmates are surprised. They, 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 are, they, are, they are now saying, have you also joined those people? Wow. The way today are reading, people were surprised that ah, the one who used to persecute us today has become the preacher of what he used to persecute. When mm -hmm. I read it, I loved it so much. It is so powerful. It's, I, I mean, where, where, I think in the verse something, uh, Acts chapter 9, today when I saw it, it blessed my spirit so much. The people were saying that the one who used to preach the, uh, the uh, attack, the people who were preaching gospel, today is preaching, is preaching the gospel. Yeah, people will be saying that about you. Verse 21, yeah. I mean, then all who heard were amazed and said, is this not he who destroyed those who called on the name, on this name in Jerusalem and has come here for that purpose so that he might bring them bound to the chief priest? Ah, is it not the one? I mean, they were surprised by his preaching now. He's preaching the gospel he was destroying because of encounters. Now, people are surprised. Some of you, I know, people are surprised the way you have changed. Please don't give the credit to yourself and your, your self-discipline. It's not your self-discipline that has changed you. It's the gospel you heard. It's the preaching you heard that has changed you. The preaching. Preaching is what changes people. It's not just testimonies. <laughs> preaching is what changes people. It's not just niceness. And somebody say, as well, I just, I like what matters to me is love, love, love. When, when there is love, please, 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 preach the gospel. Preach. When they, come, when they don't want to preach and they become lazy and they are ashamed of Christ, they begin to replace the gospel and Christ-centeredness with love, niceness. And when they talk about love, they mean being nice to everybody. Being nice to even people who are destroying the work of God. Still be nice to them. Be ni being nice to everybody, every you just have to be a nice person. Come on, give me a break. Anybody practicing religion and has any common sense will be nice. He has the ability to be nice, but not everybody can preach Jesus. Wow. But it takes the preaching of Christ. Preaching of Christ. Preach, preach, son, preach. 
daughter, preach. Man, preach. Girl, preach. Mom, preach. Dad, preach. 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 Nobody is too old to preach and nobody is too young to preach. 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 When you preach, people get established. <laughs> Hallelujah. We, 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 we will preach the gospel. Amen. We will instant in season out of in good times, in bad times, we will preach because it's the preaching of the gospel that guarantees the faith of people. Yeah. The gospel preached did not benefit them because they did not mix it with faith. Do you see that? So the benefit is has to, is attached to the word that is preached. For indeed, the gospel was what preached. When the word is preached, it is God's agenda is to bring you profit. Wow. So, just in case you are not a member of Carries and you are listening to me, learn how to tell your pastor. Pastor, please preach. Please preach the word, because that therein lies your profit. Your profit. Wow. Beg your pastor to preach. Pastor, please just preach the word. Preach enough of the music. Enough of, <laughs> enough of the singing. Preach the word. That is why people who are gifted with singing and music tend to become so important, more than preachers, in event-based churches. <laughs> I mean, since when did a singer or a musician became a priority before God. Hmm. Since when? To the extent that there are preachers all over, especially in certain type of churches. Some musicians believe that I am more important than the pastor. Would that be the pastor can do his job? You see, wow. you see, I even don't know which pastor you have been listening to for which reason you think that a pastor needs you for his work. Ah! Ah! And most of most of those music has a lot to do with people's souls, Make, giving pleasure in their souls, so their spirits are bankrupt. Because after all the music, sin keeps growing. After all the music, all kinds of things, contentions, arrogance, pride, not preaching, Christ is not growing. Why? If the music makes the difference, most of those music has to do with soulish realm. Entertainment, and you, we we we. It's like book ends. The cover of the book we write Christ on top. Christ are there, but inside it actually has nothing to do with Christ. It has to, everything to how to bake bread, or any book. It's biology book, but I put Christ on top, Christ under it. Inside it, and so you see the thing Christ. The fact that someone is singing and say Jesus, I love you, I love you, does not mean that 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 thing is coming from a, a, a pure source. Some of the music some of us like is not meant to grow you. Wow. It's you like it because it looks very it sounds very much like what you are enjoying when you were in the world. Mm. Mm, mm. It feels so we have we have to change our music now to uh, attract unbelievers. Mm. Wow. And then when they come, we have to now package our teaching to what they will enjoy, what they will like. Else we are afraid they will like it and they will go. Mm. Wow. So we have to re-embellish the gospel of God, adapt it to what an un unbelievers version of the gospel. It doesn't change them. It doesn't change them, but it sounds nice to them. As I preach, you, I see the establishment of God manifested in your life. Thank you, Lord. I see Amen. the of God being demonstrated. I see profit. You are profiting in your health. You are profiting in your marriage. You are profiting in your career. You are profiting in your family life. You are profiting in your studies. You are profiting in your relationships. As I preach, I see it benefits you. Profit is coming. You are receiving the profit that comes from God. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout a believing amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you for listening. To hear more from David Entry, follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Why don't you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Caris Church and subscribe to our podcast so you are always up to date. Be blessed.